So at the top of your paper, write that famous equation, y equals mx plus b. And let's take a look at your foldable. What is y standing for? Y is the what? Y is the output. What is the m? It's our slope. And on, we're going to use this paper today because you guys have already identified the slope on all of these graphs. What is X? Um, input. It's the input. And the B is y our Y intercept. So let's take a look at number two. Where is the Y intercept on this line? Remember, this here is the origin, so this would be what number? One. So we're going to identify the y-intercept, and we can write it as a short, just y-int for intercept, is one. Let's look at number four. What's the y-intercept here? Mm -hmm. Y-intercept is negative one. Can we find the y-intercept for number six? No, the graph doesn't go down far enough, so we're going to not have to do number six today. And is there a y-intercept in an undefined? No. So some of these we're not going to be using. We're just going to do a few of these. Let's look at number one. What's the y-intercept here? It's zero. So on your own, you guys are going to do three, five, and seven. But let's go back. Now that we have our equation, and we know what the slope is, and we know what the y-intercept is, we can write the equation for this graph. Y is always going to be there. But what are we going to put in place of the M? Mm -hmm. 2 over 3 is our m. x is just x in the equation. Plus, what's our y-intercept? 1. One. That's the equation for this graph. I want you to try to do it for number 4. See if you can put the pieces into the right places. What's the slope for number four? What kind of one-fourth? And what kind of line is this? So we have to make sure that our slope shows that it's negative one over four. And our y-intercept is what kind of number? It's also negative, so we could write it one of two ways. You could put y is equal to negative one over four x plus a negative one, or you could write it like this. Either one of those would be correct. Okay, in the first one I'm making the plus sign visible, and down here I'm just leaving it invisible. And both of those are the same. Okay. Now I want you guys to think about graphing from a, just the equation. If we can look at a line and say this is the y-intercept and this is the slope and so here's the equation, we can also use an equation to graph the line. And what, you, what I will want you to do is on your paper you're going to put the equation as the title of the graph. If this is my equation, y equals 2 over 3x plus 3. The first thing we always do is start with the last number. That's our y-intercept, so where is it going to be graphed? Right here at positive 3. 
And then I can take my slope and do rise over run and find other points on the graph. What's my slope? Two over three, so I'm gonna rise up two and run over one, two, three. I'm gonna do it again so I get more than two spots. I'm gonna rise up two and run over one, two, three. Am I gonna be making a positive line here? Is this a positive slope? So we have to just think about that because sometimes you can rise over run the wrong direction. People tend to try to make them positive all the time and you just have to pay attention to when it's negative. Um, let's try one with a negative slope. y is equal to negative 1 over 3x minus 4. Where are we starting? At the end, which is negative 4. We're going to go down and put our point, that's one point on the line at the y-intercept. And then I'm going to use my slope to rise over run and find other points on the line so I can draw it. I'm going to rise up how many? and run over, but this kind of line is, so I want to go up one and to the left three. I'm gonna do it again, rise up one and run to the left, one, two, three. I could also go back to my main point and I could drop down one and run to the right. I just have to think as I'm doing this that I'm making a negative line so I wanna make sure that my points are going in the right direction. And then we're gonna graph. So that's what you guys are gonna be doing today. I've got a few problems in the book for you as well as first with this, find the y-intercept. You guys are doing three, five, and seven. Oh, we never finished number one because this is interesting. When the y-intercept is zero, and I'm putting in y equals mx plus b, I've got this negative seven, nine, x plus zero. Or I could leave this off. When it's crossing at the origin, your equation might just look like this. I don't know that you have any like that today in your book, but. Okay, I am not even sure where my contract is. I've been keeping track of stuff on. But first, you guys are going to find the y-intercept. If I can write. And the equation for numbers three, five, and seven on this paper. Don't worry about the back, we're just doing those three on the front page, okay? And then you're gonna open up your book to section 5-7. Ah, really, I'm having trouble with writing these numbers today. 5-7, which is on pages two, 310 to 311. And you guys are going to do numbers one, through eight and 10 through 15 and then two more 20 and 21 which will require graph paper and I will bring you a piece of graph paper okay you watched the videos for these kinds of problems yesterday and we've just done some reviews, so hopefully this will go pretty well. But I'll be available for questions if you have them.